we'll get started out with our yoga strap. Remember, if you don't have a yoga strap, a really good proxy for that is a scarf um, or a towel. And we'll start laying on our backs. If we often do just a quick little warm up today, strap up that right foot, extend that right leg over the body. Left leg will stay bent today. We'll inhale to open the right leg out to the side. And you want, as you both know, as everyone who probably will join knows, left shoulder, left hip stays rooted. We're really trying to find how far we can take this right leg away from the center of the body without anything else changing. And then come on back to center. And then switch hands, strap the scarf in the left hand and take that leg slightly across the body. So now we're getting more into the outer line of the leg, the IT band, for example, through the hip. And then come back to center. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, strap in the right hand, open the right leg out. It's like me, you have a wall. Don't be shy about using it. Exhale to center. Strap in the left hand. Inhale, take it across the body again ever so slightly. Exhale back to center. And then both feet into the strap. Legs up the wall. Push your heels towards the ceiling. Really make sure that low back is grounded. Start to pull that belly button as well towards the spine. We'll bend both elbows. Inhale, bring the legs towards the body. Keep rooting through the low back, through that sacrum, through that tailbone. And you should feel a really deep stretch in the hamstrings, maybe even all the way down to the calves. Take one more breath here. And then take the right foot to the mat, strap in the left foot. We'll take the same stretch as we did on the right. Inhale to open that left leg out to the left. Remember, we want to really anchor this opposite side, this right side of the body. And then coming back to center. Switching the hand on the strap, taking it slightly across the body for that twist. Still pushing out through the heel, still creating length in the leg. And come back to center one more time. Inhale, leg away from the body. Exhale, leg over the body. Switch hands. Inhale, leg across the body. Exhale, leg over the body. Both feet into the strap. This time a little more about the core. You can take your hands lower down on the strap, on the scarf. Keep that belly engaged. Keep the back down. And we'll inhale and lower the legs like a fourth of the way towards the floor, maybe a third, maybe a half of the way towards the floor. Watch that your low back hasn't popped up. You're still rooting through belly, through back. You're pushing out through your heels. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, come on back to center. All right, let's go ahead and release that strap. Bring the knees to the chest. Give yourself a hug. Find your rocks. And we'll start out with a supine twist and then get right on into other movements. Arms out to the side, hips to the right. We'll start twisting the knees to the left. If it feels okay for the neck, turn the head to the right hand. And so in this twist, as we know, we have the ribs going in one direction to the right, and we have the hips going in another to the left. If you want to give yourself a boost, press left hand on top of right thigh. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Okay, come through center, other side. It's always really nice, I think, to start... Um, warming up on the mat for morning classes. So hopefully you're feeling the same way about this. And it feels good. Kind of a gentle way to wake up. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. And exhale, come onto your back. Knees into your chest. Lift your head and shoulders and start to rock and roll forward and back, forward and back. And we'll make our way to down dog. So go ahead and get into that down dog shape. Hey, Danielle. Um, we'll lift those hips, plant the palms, and start to just pedal up through those knees. So bending the right knee, bending the left knee. And remember the leg that is straight, that is pushing the heel to the ground, should be feeling, again, that calf stretch, that hamstring stretch. The leg that's bent gets to kind of hang out and do really very little. One more time each side. And then we'll begin to warm up the shoulders. Find stillness in your down dog. Your big toes are parallel. Your inner ankles are parallel. You're lifting up through the leg towards the hip. Same with the arms. You're lifting up through the arms towards the belly. And then heels come nice and high. Roll forward into plank. And then exhale, use the belly strength. Lift the hips back to down dog. Two more times. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale to down dog. 
Last time, inhale forward to plank. Exhale, down dog. This time we'll come forward to plank. Get a little more into the shoulders. Drop the knees. Left hand stays, right arm reaches up. Before we thread the needle, take some big arm circles. And if you want to add other movement to the arm, go for it. Maybe you want to bend at the elbow or you want to roll out the wrist or even take the hand behind the back, whatever it is that you need. And then we'll come on into that thread of the needle, dropping the right side of the head, letting today the left arm get really long. We won't add the leg here. I want you to really focus on the shoulder. Back of the right arm is what's connected to the mat, the floor. So we really get that beautiful stretch in the right shoulder. Deep inhale. Full exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale, left hand to the mat, right arm sweeps up. Before we take this to the left, right arm forward, left leg back, set up your bird dog, and you could flex or point through that left foot. We'll bring elbow to knee to add a little bit of that balance and stability work in. And then lengthen it up. Two more times, elbow to knee, find that curve in the spine. Inhale for your extension. Last one, exhale. And inhale. We'll add on one more little stretch. Right hand down, left leg back. Spin the left heel to the mat. Bring the right foot behind the right shin and lift yourself up. So we're coming into that gate pose, that side body stretch. We're stretching towards the straight leg. And if you happen to have a different leg out to the side that's straight, it doesn't matter. Take a deep breath in. Keep stretching long. And then exhale. We'll go right back into all fours. And if you need to come to child's pose, if you need to circle the hips or take some cat cows, go for it. You have a couple of breaths here to sort of loosen up and move or be still in the way that you need to. Two more breaths. Then let's meet back in that all fours. Left arm will reach to the ceiling this time. Start to roll out that wrist, move that body, move through the shoulder and the arm. You need a little extra time, go for it. If you're ready, though, we thread the needle. We come underneath, drop the head. We'll stretch the right arm towards the front of the mat. And again, nothing fancy with the legs today, so we really focus on opening through that left shoulder, pressing the back of the left arm and hand down. Big breath in, big breath out. One more, inhale. Exhale, coming out, plant the right hand. Sweep the left arm up. We'll take that left arm by the ear to the front of the mat, right leg back. So setting up that sense of spinal extension. And then exhale, elbow to knee, trying to destabilize a little bit. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. One more time, inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. We come back to extension. Take the left hand down, take the right foot down. Spin the left foot behind the knee and drop the right heel. Lifting yourself up, we'll stretch towards that long leg. I'm sorry, I'm facing away from you. But just one more breath here to find that side stretch. And then we'll come back to all fours. One more round of kind of anything goes, movement, shape. Maybe you come into a yoga shape. Maybe you just start to kind of rattle and roll and move and wiggle. And then when you're ready to, we'll start with core work today in a seat. So we'll take two rounds today of the same movement. You'll need light weights. I have five, but if you have twos or threes at home, those would actually work really great. And then that strap or that scarf. We're going to do the first round of movement with the strap or the scarf or the towel in the second round of movement with your weight. Focus on the core, but when we start to add the weights and holding the strap, the arms and shoulders and back and chest are also getting a little work. So starting with the strap, pull that strap forward or your proxy strap. Take a moment to roll the shoulders forward. This is actually where we don't want to be. And then take a moment to roll the shoulders back and down. But think about reaching the hands away from said shoulder blades. This is where we want to be. Spine is really long. We start to pull the belly in. We start to pinch the ribs in. And for 10 reps, we'll lean back 
and reach forward. Here we go. Inhale back. Exhale forward. If your feet are flying off the ground, you may want to dig your heels in instead of having flat feet. You may also want to make this movement a little bit smaller. Inhaling back, exhaling up. You have five. You should feel this in the core. You should feel that action also in the arm and the back. Last two. Last one. All right. Now bring the legs together. Mine were apart. Now we bring the legs together. We'll point the toes to the ground. Inhale, twist to the left. Lift the legs. We stay for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come back to center. Tap the toes. Twist to the right. Lift the legs. Stay 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tap the toes. Bring the arms forward. Now we'll take that Russian twist. And whether you have your legs off the ground or on, is up to you. Let's twist left and right, left and right. And if you want to actually tap your bottom hand, your bottom pinky knuckles to the ground when you get to the respective side, go for it. You have five, four, hopefully you're feeling your core. I am three, two, and one. Okay, final thing. Sit up, extend the legs forward. We'll sit up just nice and tall. Working the arms and the back and the shoulders. Inhale to bend the elbows. Exhale to press up. And you could choose to have your strap tap the top of your head, or you could take the strap behind your head. And depending on your ponytail situation, that might be, um, there might be a little impediment in that option. You've got five. Keep sitting up really tall. Resist the urge to lean back. Resist the urge to lift the shoulders. Last two. Last one. Okay, ditch that shot. Take a moment. Bend the knees, plant the feet, hands by the hips, fingertips towards the heels. Lift the hips up. So give your hip flexors an opening opportunity because we're doing that. Sequence of movement one more time. Lift our weights. Okay, let's come on back down. Grab your weights. And as we go through these, if you really feel like you have to ditch the weights, do it, but see if you can keep the weights in the hands. This time, instead of palms down, we'll take palms up. You can have that micro bend in the elbows, but same idea. Instead of rolling the shoulders forward, we're really pulling the shoulders back. We're using the strength of the back and the shoulders to keep the arms extended. We'll start to lean and lift. We have nine more. Remember that heel dig might be a better option for you to feel more stable this morning. So go for stability and strength connected. Inhale back. Exhale up, keeping the spine long. So unlike Pilates where we might have a C-curve doing this, we're keeping that spine really long, thinking boat pose. Last three, two, time under tension with those arms. Last one, okay. This time instead of keeping the arms out, bring the weights to the chest, bring the legs together, tips of the toes on the mat, Twist to the left. Try to tap your elbow. Stay for 10, 9. Lift the feet. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Feet down. Twist to the right. When I say tap the elbow, it's a very light tap. Stay for 10. Lift the feet. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now Russian twist. Feet are down or up. Side to side. Again, see if maybe you can tap the elbow every time you come to the side. It's not a weight-bearing tap. It's really light. It's like barely happening. Inhale. Exhale. Woo. Hopefully you're feeling this. We have that one more move after this. Last two each side. Last one each side. And then sitting up tall, legs straight, arms overhead. That shoulder press, palms are forward. Inhale to bend, exhale to straighten. Watch that your shoulders don't come up with you. Again, this act of sitting up without the help of a, a chair back or a wall just continues to build that core strength. Last four. Three. Two. 
one. Okay, take the weights down. Once again, we'll stretch through those hip flexors. They're probably feeling pretty, pretty tight. Bend the knees, plant the feet, plant the hands, lift the hips up. You may want to shift the weight forward and back. You may want to press the hips even higher. And then lower yourself down. If you need any other stretches or you need a moment to hydrate, go for it. And we'll come into a bit of a cardio interlude next. Coming into plank, and I'm going to grab my watch. So we have the time here. We'll come into plank, and we'll come into knee tap. Right knee will actually tap the back of the right arm. Left knee will tap the back of the left arm. And if you don't feel great on your palms today, try fist. Forearms is going to be really, really challenging. So again, if you're not on the wrist, you're on the fist, and you could even make a fist with your weights because it elevates your knuckles so there's less pressure on your knuckles. Okay, find your plank, belly button to spine, 30 seconds, here we go. Right, left. And just like that elbow tap we did in that full pose sequence, you're not like cramming your knee into your arm so that you hurt your arm or your elbow. It's that light tap. You just wanna make a connect and then step it back. Your hips aren't moving, just your legs. Your legs are doing this kind of fun, fast march. Knees are off the ground, feet are off the ground, and we're almost there. The last three, two, one, stay in plank. Leg lift. If you need to drop the non-moving leg, which would be the left leg to start, mod and drop that knee. Right leg lift, point through the foot. Here we go, lift for 15 seconds. And this could become a fast pulse if you wanted it to. It could become a slower, excuse me, full range of motion movement, whatever you need. Belly to spine, you got this. We're going to the left leg, here we go. Up and down, again, it might be a fast pulse, it might be a slower, bigger movement. You decide what that looks like. Keep the core tight, everything else in the body still, and rest, child's pose, down dog, whatever you need. You might need to take a break from your shoulders, bring your hands behind your back, or you may want to stretch your triceps, your shoulders a little bit, too, by bringing the elbows to the mat and the thumbs to the nape of the neck. Okay, let's come on back up. We're going to amp that up just a little bit, taking it into a twist, finding that plank, right knee to left arm, left knee to right. Again, you'll have 30 seconds. I was going at pretty steady pace, but feel free to pick up the pace here, okay? Find that plank of choice. Toes on the ground. Here we go. Right to left, left to right. If you can actually make connection with your leg and your arm, awesome, okay? We're trying to find that really deep hip flexion to get you there. Once again, we'll do one more move after this, right leg and left leg, just to get some leg action in plank. You have 10 more seconds with this, and then we'll get into that right leg. This time, right leg will be coming in a hamstring curl. Okay, find your plank. Right leg lift, foot is flexed. Heel to butt, stretch it out. 15 seconds. The mod is left knee down to give you more support. Both knees are facing the ground. Right foot is flexed. Last three, two, one, left leg, hamstring curl and plank. In doing this in plank, we get more work in the arms, more work in the shoulders, more work in the core. Keep that left thigh lifted in space. Last three, two, one, rest. Again, whatever rest means for you, take it, hydrate, stretch. Okay, doc. Let's come on into our three sun A's. Now that we've done a couple of drills, standing at the top of your mat, big toes parallel. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, long back, fold over the legs. And you might want to bend the knees as you descend. Inhale, hands on shins, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold, step back to plank. We're really familiar with plank right now. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chatter on the elbows by the ribs. Remember, you can always drop the knees. And then you decide, cobra or up dog, what back bend serves you best. 
tuck the toes, lift the hips, down dog. Before we go to our second round, legs together. Inhale, right leg lift. Keep this three-legged dog and just start to pulse the leg towards the ceiling. You have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right foot down, left foot, same thing. Three-legged, square hips, strong legs. 10, 9, 8. Push into the hands, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, feet together. We'll come forward, second round. Lift the heels, bend the knees, look between the thumbs, and either step it forward or push into the hands and hop. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, reach up, look up. Maybe you add a little standing back bend, hips push forward, chest lift. Hands come by the sides. Take a breath in or reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, half lift. Plant the palms. This time, go through your flow in your way. Be mindful that you're moving with your breath. Being mindful of how you transition from side to side. Different leg movement. Right leg lift, three-legged dog. Take that right leg. Hip will stay square. Take that right leg to the right, down towards the floor. Don't let it touch the floor with the foot, and then lift it back up. Two more in this direction. You're trying to stabilize with your left leg. And then left foot will take it up first, out to the left, down towards the floor without touching. Again, up, out, down. Making these big circles. We'll go the other direction next time. Zip the legs together, lift the heels, bend the knees, look between the thumbs, step or float. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Push through the feet, stand tall. Again, back bend is optional at the top. Pull the arms down by the sides. One more time, sun A, inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands down. Again, your flow, your way. Right leg, this time, lift the right foot off the ground an inch or two, which means you need to push into your left foot even more. Take the right leg out to the right, then lift it up. So we go down, out, and then up one more time. Just reversing the circle that we did last round. And then left foot, lift it a couple of inches off the ground, take it out to the left, up to the ceiling, down without touching, out, up, down, third time. Zip the legs together, lift the heels, bend the knees, step or float. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Stand tall. Maybe that back bend. And then arms by the sides, mountain pose. Okay, shake it out. We're going to stay standing for the next little bit. Do some bar, some yoga, kind of combining the two. First, we'll start with some yoga chair pose. Go ahead and grab your weight. So, and you can face wherever you want for this. We'll start out with a fairly narrow chair. So feet under the hips. Make sure the inner foot, ankle, big toe is parallel. And then sit down. For 30 seconds, we'll lift the heels up, take a lateral raise, and come right back down into your deep chair. Weight when you're down in your chair is back in your heels. So resist the urge to lean forward here, right? Because you might tip. Keep the core strong. When you do lift up, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads. So again, you're not tipping forward or tipping back, okay? We'll start in three, two, one. Here we go, down and up. We're going for that speed, but always that control. Two, driving through the balls of the feet, lifting through the heels. As you raise your arms, watch that they don't become these kind of big wings that you can't control. Stop at the armpit height. We're over halfway there. We'll build onto this in five, four, three, two, one. Stay low. Little pulses down. Your back is still flat, 
and long. Your core is still turned on. You've got five, four, three, two. Stay low. Bend the elbows. Take the weight to the shoulders. Back down. 15 seconds. So finding that curl and that tap, keeping your chair low and deep. The next time you bend your elbows, hold little pulses in, 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 in. You may want to punch that exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Shake out those legs. And now coming into more of a bar position. We also see this in yoga too. Plie squat. Toes are out, heels are in. You all know the drill. But at home, do the same checks you would do at Truve. Your knees and toes are going in the same direction. If your knees are knocking in, just turn your toes more forward. This shape looks really different on different bodies. So don't feel like you need to look like me. You just want that sensation of inner thighs wrapping up and down. Hips have space between the legs, and the feet are much wider than the hips. With all of that set, we'll start with the arms down. We'll begin to just pulse the hips. 15 seconds of hip pulses. Nothing else is really going on. Just getting that sense of strong legs. Rooted feet, lifted spine, and breath is able to flow in and out. Okay, the next time you come down, lift your heels up, lift your arms forward, and stay. 10, 9, 8, sit lower, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, drop the heels, arms down. Again, 15 seconds of pulses. We're doing a little more repetition today than usual, just because there's really no reason. Last five, four, three, two, one. This time, lift the heels, lift the arms all the way by the ears. Stay for 10, nine, sit a little lower, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one, drop the heels, release the arms, wiggle those feet in, give it a good shake out. Coming into lunges, so again, a shape that translates between yoga and bar and a lot of other fitness modalities. All 10 toes are forward. Let's start with more of a yoga lunge where the back leg is straight, heel is off the ground, front knee is over the ankle. We'll just isometrically hold here and take some upper body movement, starting with the triceps. Arms by the ears, weights could be together or shoulder distance apart. Bring the elbows close to the face, and we'll bend at the elbows, dropping the weights behind us, and then pushing the hands up. We have 10 like this. Here we go. For 10, try not to let the arms wing out away from the head. Keep wrapping the arms in. We have that nice internal rotation happening here. <sighs> Inhale when the arms come down. Exhale when they come up. Watch that your ribs aren't splaying open. Keep that core strong for four, three, two, one. Hold the arms down. Pulse it out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the weights to the chest or down. Now coming more into the legs. Bend the back knee until it's under the back hip. Front knee is still over the ankle. We'll come down an inch, up an inch for 10, then take 10 pulses, and then finish with 10 knee drives, okay? So there's going to be, towards the end of this, a lot of weight borne in the front leg. Really make sure you're using the full range of your foot. You're using your core as well, okay? Let's set it up. Weights could just add some resistance here. Back knee is bent. Down an inch, up an inch. Here we go for 10, 9. Your weight feels evenly distributed between front right leg and back left leg. Again, you can breathe easily for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pull to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Knee for 10. Nine, take this at your own pace. If you need to go slower, slow it down. If you want to go faster, go faster. Keep drilling through that big toe side of the right foot. 
Last two, last one. Okay, Let's shake it on out. We'll go to the other side and you can just flip on around. Triceps again in a yoga lunge, but different triceps. This time we'll take the weight forward. Tricep kick back, squeeze the elbows in towards the ribs. Watch that your wrists aren't moving here. You wanna start with neutral wrists. You wanna stay with neutral wrists. We'll squeeze the tricep, straighten the arms back, bend it in. We'll do 10 of those, and then we'll take 10 straight arm pulsing lifts, okay? Collarbone broad, belly tight, lean forward, snitch your elbows in, here we go. Push for 10, nine. Remember, we don't throw this away and fling the arms, even if the weights feel too light for you. Take this just as carefully as if you had 15, 20 pound weights in each hand. Keep pulling the left hip back, right hip forward. Last three, two, one. Hold the arms straight back, little pulses up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, lift your chest, pull your back knee in. Down an inch, up an inch, 10 times, 10 pulses, 10 knee drives. Here we go. Down and up, down and up. And you're super steady from head to hip. All the action is happening below the hip. You're poised. You're ready. Last three. Then we pulse two. One, pulse it out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, knee drive back in and tap, nine. Ground that left foot. We've got that balance challenge, especially as we add this speed. Four, three, two, one. Okay, shake it out, let the weights go. Again, great time to stretch, quads, to hydrate. You don't have to do both at the same time. Okie dokie. A few more standing things and we'll end on the ground. Kind of getting into the whole body. Arms, legs, and core again. Grab that strap, that scarf, that towel. We're going to work some balance and some extension. We're going to strap up the right foot and I'll turn this direction so you can see what's happening with my legs a little better. We'll strap up the right foot, we'll stand on the left foot. All 10 toes are forward. We've done this before. We're holding one side, um, each side of that object with one hand. So we've got both hands on it. Lift that right knee, and then we're pushing the leg out and pulling it in. This is one of those exercises we'll do with the strap and then we'll do it without the strap. Strap obviously is a little bit easier, but it helps you get that sense of, I need to keep my thigh bone still, and I'm just moving my shin bone because of the, my hamstring. So we're doing 10 of those. We're doing 10 pulses. And then we're holding that leg out. And if you want to lift it higher, adjusting your hands might help you to lift it higher, okay? We'll shake that out. We'll do the strap on the left side, and then we'll do that same thing without the strap on either side, okay? Parallel feet. This is your one-legged mountain in yoga. This is your leg lift and bar. Bend the right knee, lift it up. And here we go, straighten and bend. I highly recommend you focus your eyes. So you take that concept of drishti from yoga and you bring it here. Really bring it into any balance is super helpful. Four more, push, pull. Hold the bend, little pulses up. Think low belly, think hip flexors. You don't really have to hold the strap at all with too much pressure. For four, three, two, one. Extend the leg out, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shake it out. Set up your left side. Drop up the left foot. 
stand tall on the right side. And you probably notice on the first side, if you kind of let your standing like ankle wobble around, things got weird and hard. So make sure that foot is planted and you can always put a little bend in that knee. You really want to press down and then lift up through the muscular strength of the standing leg. Okay, let's go. Lift the left leg. Here we go. Extend and bend. Again, find that visual focus, even if it's something that maybe you've been looking at a lot these past few weeks. Maybe you'll see it in a new light today. Four more. Last two. One, hold the bend, little pulses up, up, up. Find that squeeze. Last three, two, one. Straighten the leg, hold it here for 10. And holding it here might mean that you start to lift a little bit higher, but you're not leaning back. For four, three, two, one. Okay, let it go. Let the strap go. If you want to add weights to this, you can. Arms could be out to the side or at 90 degrees or up to the ceiling. You could also choose to just have your hands on your hips. I'm going to try the 90 degree version. You do what you want. Toes forward. Right knee lifts. Bend, extend for 10, 9, 8. Get taller through your left hip. 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, pulse the knee, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, straighten the right leg, hold for 10. Last three, and let it go, shake it out. Hopefully that went well, and if it didn't, we have another side, another try. Set it up, left knee lift, belly tight, here we go. Straighten, bend for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold them, pulse ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten, hold for ten. Last three, and let it go. Nice. Shake it on out. Okay. Coming down to this mat, core, hip flexors, inner thighs, glutes. We're coming into our first position, which we didn't do standing today as a floor bar exercise. Arms can be out by the hips or out to the sides of the mat. Legs will lift, <clears throat> toes turn out, soles together. So. As much as you can, your legs straight, you're squeezing your inner thighs. Almost imagine you had that strap or scarf tied around our legs, binding the legs together. Belly to spine, spine to mat. Arms are helping you as well. We'll inhale the legs down. Exhale, bend the knees wide, like you're making that frog shape, butterfly shape. Straighten on the inhale, lift on the exhale. We'll do that for 30 seconds, and then, of course, we'll add on. Find your first, and here you go. Down, bend, straighten, up. You do not have to do this tempo. You could go faster, you could go slower. If you're choosing faster, watch that you're not swinging your hips off the ground. You want your hips, your glutes as well, to stay grounded. Lower body core in on this for three. Two, one. Okay, lower down halfway. If you need a little support for your low back, hands under the butt. You're at that halfway point. Bend the knees and then little pulse of the feet out, out, out. We have 15 seconds here. Imagine that there is a wall or someone's hands behind your feet. You want to push against that object. You want to feel that resistance in the belly and the inner thighs for three. Two, one. Hold the legs out. Point through the toes. Scissor kick the legs. 15 seconds. You're still in a turnout. Your legs are just straight and your feet are just pointed. Keep the back rounded for five, four, three, 
two, one. Okay, bring the feet down. We'll come into rolling bridges, which we often do as a warm up. Today we'll do it as a way to stretch after all of that hip flexor work, core work. Feet can be wide if you need them to, but don't let your toes turn out. Really keep the big toes parallel to each other. Arms by the sides, inhale. Gradually peel the hips up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Take a moment at the top. Think inner thighs towards the center of the mat. Not that your legs are touching, but again, to avoid the splay knee happening, think about that inner thigh, inner thigh muscles rolling in and down, in and down. Take one more inhale, lift the hips higher, and then exhale, slow lower from upper back to mid back to low back. Two more faster. Inhale, peel it up. Find your stretch, find your height. Exhale, lower down. Last time, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower it down. Okay. We'll finish off with a little burn in the legs and a little burn in the arms. Let's start with the left leg in the air. So right foot stays down, left foot up. And let's all try to keep the left leg up and straight, foot flex. We'll take 10 single leg glute presses. Here we go. Up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Keep that foot flex. 3, 2. Hold it up on 1. Now we're going to turn the toes out and in, out and in. So we're moving that leg. We're rotating it in the hip socket for 6. Belly and glutes are still tight. Last three, two, one. Lower the leg down, create an L shape. Point through the foot, keep the hips up, stay for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left foot down, right leg in the air, butt is still off the ground. 10 single leg glute press for 10, nine. Foot is really flexed, eight, seven, Five, four, three, two, one. Turn out, parallel, toes away, toes forward. Nothing else is moving. Last two, one. Come back to parallel, lower the leg to that L shape, point through the foot, butt up, 10. And let it go. Knees to the chest. Happy baby might feel really nice after that. A straddle on your back. A twist. Butterfly on your back. Whatever it is that you need. And we'll come up. I promised upper body to finish. And upper body we will do. We'll do some more triceps in two ways. One, reverse tabletop position. Like we did as a stretch a few times earlier. Lifting the butt off the ground. This is not a pelvic lift. That is a movement we could do, but it's not what we're do, going to do today. This is a bend of the elbows back. They're not going out to the side. They stay back, shoulders down, and straighten up. We're going to do two rounds of 10. First round, full range of motion, whatever that is. Second round, pull. Okay? Here we go. Bend and straighten for 10. Nine. Butt stays off the ground. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Chaturanga push up, same deal. Ten full range of motion, ten pulses. Remember, palms flat, inner elbows forward. So they're not facing each other, they actually rotate in the shoulder socket. If you need to do this on your knees, your butt is not back over your knees. It's forward and your core is tight. We're going halfway down, all the way up, and then we'll pull. So on your toes or on your knees, I'll do this on my knees today, but please do this on your toes if you feel like you can keep your form. Here we go for 10. You're only going halfway down, nine. Watch that your back isn't swaying. You need to keep that core pulled in, ribs in. This should feel challenging. 
inhale down, exhale up. We're ending with an upper body bang. Last three, two, keep pushing into those hands. One, stay down, pulse 10. Five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop to your belly. Take your fingertips outside of your mat. Take your legs a little bit wider than usual. Inhale, peel up. Look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Come on back down. Find a child's pose. Knees wide, hips to heels, elbows to the mat. Hands to prayer, thumbs at the nape of your neck. The more you walk your elbows forward, the more you'll stretch the backs of the arms. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. And then release your arms. Find your down dog. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips and start to walk back to the feet. Bend the knees. Let everything hang. Roll it up. Heavy, heavy, heavy. And we'll end with one breath. That inhale up. That exhale down. Sending you off into your Thursday. Here we go. Big breath in. Big breath out. Thank you all for waking up early.